and bow-legged from the saddle for God knows how long. Couldn't stop a pig in the road. Well, what else does she want, that damn she and you? I don't know, but I'm sure it's David, it ain't you. Who are you taking to the box over tonight? I ain't thought much about it, do you? Bet you come over to ask Laurie. Well, what if I did? Yes, to me too. Oh, well, my Now, 
ain't got no one to ride. Hey, dude. When I didn't hire, I made the whole thing up in my head. What, well, made it up? Dashboard, no! Oh, get it, I can't <laughs> Such a rig, though. And then you go and play party. And dance a whole down till the morning. And then when you was all wore out, I just pick you up, put you in the surrey, I jump up alongside you, and point the horses home. I can just picture the whole thing. I can see the stars getting blurry. When we ride back home in the Surrey, riding slowly home in the Surrey with the fringe on top. I can feel a day getting older, feel a sleepy head on my shoulder, nodding, drooping close to my shoulder till it falls. Kaplop. The sun is swimming on the rim of the hill The moon is taking our head up And just as I'm thinking all the earth is still A lock will wake up in the meadow Hush you bet my baby's asleep and Maybe got a dream worth a keeping Whoa you team and just Keep a creeping at a slow clip clop. Don't you hurry in the surrey with the fringe on the top. Oni, Oni, there ain't no such rig. You just said you made the whole thing up. Well, why'd you come around here with story and these lies? Get me all worked up that way. Talking about the sun swimming on the hill and all like it was so. Who's gonna ride alongside you anyhow? Why don't you just grab her and kiss her when she acts that way, Curly? She's just aching for ya, baby. <laughs> I won't even speak to him, let alone allow him to kiss me, the bragging boy. Wish she had a sweetheart trap. Oh, shoot, man. Oh, dude. She likes you quite a lot. <laughs> If she liked me anymore, she'd probably sick the dogs on me. Oh. Hi, 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 How are you? Sweet. Did you get the wagon hitched up? What wagon? There's a crowd of folks coming over from Bushyhead tonight for the box social. That's right. Curtis okay. said maybe you'd notice your big wagon to pick them up from the station. Of course I would if he'd asked me. Oh, we got talking about a lot of other things. I'll go hit you up right now to see it's all right, ain't you? Yeah, that's Thanks, Lottie. I'll see you, boys. Go! Oh, 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 oh,
carried on plenty in Kansas City. <laughs> ah, what does Jackie call a carrying on? But it's sure to see some things I've never seen before. Uh, Come on, have a seat. I got to Kansas City on a party. But Saturday I learned a thing or two. For up to then I didn't have an idea of what the modern world was coming to. I count of 20 gas buggies going by the south. Almost every time I took a walk. And then I put my ear to a bell telephone And a strange woman started in to talk to you What next? You yeah, what? What next? Gather around Everything's up to date in Kansas City I've gone about as far as they can go They went and built a skyscraper seven stories high About as high as a building ought to grow Everything's like a dream in Kansas City. It's better than a magic lamp. You can turn the radiator on whenever you want some heat. With every kind of comfort, every house is all complete. You can walk the privies in the rain and never wet your feet. Well, I've gone about as far as I can go. Yes, sir! They've gone about as far as they can go. Everything's up to date in Kansas City. Gone about as far as it can go. I got a big theater, they call a burly cue. For 50 cents, you can see a dandy show. Yeah. One of the girls is fat and pink yeah. and pretty. Yeah. 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 Round and puff, but she was round the nose. Yeah. I can swear that she was padded from the shoulder to her heel. Yeah. Yeah. Later in the second act, yeah. she began to. Sort of leans to one of them more than the others now, don't you? 
Well, there is that fine farmer, Jace Hutchins, just this side of Blowout. Then there's the old winter man over at Claysmore. Makes out he's a doctor or a veterinary or something. Just a second. So, hello, Jed. Hello, yourself. And then there's someone close to home that's got her on his mind most of his time. Still, he don't know a plow from a threshing machine. Him? Yeah, Judge Fry. You mean that bullet colored growly man? Now, don't you say nothing against him. He's the best hot hand I've ever had. Just about runs the farm by himself. Two women couldn't do as good. You ought to know that. You mean to say that Lori would take up with a man like that? I ain't said she'd tuck up with him. Well, he lives around here somewhere, don't he? Eats these meals with you like one of the family. And he sleeps around here somewhere, don't he? Yeah, out in the smokehouse. Mm -hmm. I changed my mind about cleaning the hen house tonight. I'm leaving it till tomorrow. I gotta quit early because I'm driving Lori to the social tonight. You're driving Lori? I asked her. Shoot. Well, wouldn't it just make you fall? So don't forget, Angel, you and me's got a date. And if you pack a nice box lunch, well, maybe I'll bid for it. How are we going, Curly? Didn't that rig you made up? All right, a straddle of them lights, the winking light, lightning bugs? Oh, that ain't no made up rig. I hide it over in Claremore. <laughs> yes, you did. Sure did, you pretty one, too. They don't forget. When I come calling for you tonight, they have your beauty spots fast and non proper so you don't lose them all. That's a right smart turn, yeah. <laughs> the wheels are yellow, the upholstery is brown, the dashboard's genuine leather. With ice and glass cuts, you can roll right down. This is a change in the weather. See you before tonight, and you're on the way back from the station. Bye, you. Ain't no father rig down a thing, and that I can't do swap. Why that shiny little Surrey with the fringe on the
they won't never be no fire like hail neither. Well, which one do you like the best? Whatever one of we. Now, hey, Annie, you are a silly. Now, Laurie, you know they did no fire to pay no mind up to this year. Kind of I was flat and scrawny as a bean pole. And then I kind of rammed it up a little. <laughs> and the boys act different to me. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong. I like it. I like it so much when a fella talks party to me. I get all shaky from home to him. Don't you? Can't think what you're talking about. Don't you feel kind of sorry for a fail when he looks like he wants to kiss you? But you just can't go around to see every man that asks you. Didn't nobody ever tell you that. Yo, they told me. <coughs>
this year for starting your little banner and your little wheel. I wore a shoe, and now the little wheel has to come home. And the first thing you know is you start talking party to me and changing my mind back. The wheel wants to marry you, doesn't it? So does Ailey. Hey, has he asked you? Not directly, but how I know. Is he said this morning when we was riding in his buggy that he wanted for me to drive my dad with to the end of the world. Well, if we only drove as far as Katusi, that'd take to some man, wouldn't it? Then we'd have to go somewhere and be all night together. And being together all night means he wants a wedding, don't it? Not to a parent, don't. All right, all right, if that bit that don't work, I'll give you something just as good. Just as good, it had to be a million times better. My, oh my, this lottery and Jeopardy Cricket's how high you have grown up. The last time I came through her, it was tiny, like a shrimp, with freckles. Now look at you, a great big beautiful lady. Quit fighting me, if you ain't had no freckles, go and eat yourself a green egg. <laughs> No, Aunt just to listen. Don't you call me Aunt Ellie, you tall, lanky wart. I'm mad at you. Don't you go be mad at me. And that said, I bring you a present. Something to wear. Shucks, things to wear wouldn't happen. What is it? Real silk, made in Persia. Now, what would I want with an old Persian god? Oh, they look awful party, Aunt Ellie. With bows on and them and all. Well, I'll try. Oh! Did you have any idea I'd let you slide that daughter up my limb? Hey. Grab hold of my petticoats, Laurie. Hey, funny thing, woman. Would be much worse if I tried to take her gutters off. Yeah, cause that'd make the stockings fall down. Wouldn't it? Now, where is the other one? Which one? Ah, <laughs> uh, you wanna buy this one? To go with that one. What do you mean do I want to buy it? I can let you have it for 50 cents. For me? Would you like me to get that egg beater and ram it down your windpipe? Give me that. All right, all right. Don't anybody want to buy something? How about you, Miss Lowry? Must be wanting something, a pretty young girl like you. Me? Of course I want something. Want a buckle made out of shiny silver to fasten onto my shoe? What a cut glass sugar bowl, a rubber tied buggy. What a be pretty. What a smell like a honey suckle vine. Give her a cake of soap. <laughs> what things I've heard of and never had before. Not only things to happen to hold into your in your hands, but things to happen to you. Things so nice that if they ever did happen to you, why your heart would quit beating and you just fall down dead. Hey! I got just the thing. The Alexa of Egypt. What's that? Secret formula belong to Pharaoh's daughter. Give me <gasps> Hey, Smell it so so! But a special kind of smelling salts. Read what it says on the label. Take a deep breath and see everything clear. That's what Burrow's daughter used to do whenever she had a hard problem to decide, like what dress to wear to a party, or what friend she should marry, or whether to cut off somebody's head. She'd take a whip of this. Oh, fiddlesticks. I'll have a bottle of that, Mr. Pedler. Precious stuff. How much? Two bits. Throwing your money away, Laurie. Help you decide what to do. Now, Aunt Ella, don't you want some pretty to that? You know the ones with the lace and the ribbons running in and out? You mean fancy drawers? All men in Paris. How about this? Well, I never wear that kind myself, but I sure do like to look at them. Ooh. 
Yeah, they're What about this? They use it. Yeah, things all right if you ain't going no place. Okay, peddler man, bring your trappings inside. Maybe I can find you something to eat and drink. Come on, follow me. Well, add to my don't you? About the what, Skittle? About what you meant when you said that about to ride with me to the end of the world. Well, I didn't really mean to the end of the world. Then, how far did you want to go? Ooh. Oh, but as far as Clermont to the hotel? What's at the hotel? Outside the hotel is the veranda. Inside is the lobby. And upstairs, <gasps> upstairs might be paradise. I thought they was just baby dreams. <laughs> For you and me, baby, paradise. <gasps> oh, there you see, I knew I was right, Lois. You do want to marry me, don't you? Ah, oh, and Annie, did you say Mary? Ah, oh, see, you do want to marry me, no. What did you say? Oh, no. Whoa, Susanna. Hey, no, Annie. It's me, I'm back. Oh, shut. Just wait. No, wait. Get over it, dumb beast. Hello. That's Will Parker. I don't want to fight with them. I've never seen a man before in my life. I only fight with my friends. Hey, no one. How's my honey bunch? How's the sweetest little 110 pounds of sugar in the territory? <laughs> How are you, Hack? Don't mind the way I talk. It's all right. I'm going to marry her. Marry her? On purpose? Why, sure. <laughs> no such a thing. It's a wonderful thing to be married. Harry. I've got a brother in Persia. got six wives. Six wives? All at once? Sure, that's the way they do them in them countries. Not always. I got another brother in Persia. Got a one wife. Hey, he's a bachelor. <laughs> Look, will you? Look, will another? You know what I got the first prize at the fair? Fifty dollars. Well, that was good. Sure thing, catch on. Your pa said I could marry you if I could get fifty dollars. That's right, then. No water done it. Spend it all on presents for you. But if you spain it, you ain't got the cash. What I got's worth more than cash. Father sold me the stuff, told me. But will. Stop saying. But will. When do I get a little old kiss? Got to say to Anna, honey, you ain't been off my mind since I left. All the time at the fairgrounds, even when I was chasing the steers, I'd rope one under the hoof, pull him up sharp, and he'd land his little rump. And then I think of you. Talk party, Seen a lot of beautiful girls, Kansas City. Didn't give one a look. How could you see him if you didn't give him a look? I mean, I didn't look loving at him like I looked at you. Oh, please don't look that way, Will. I can't fail. Ain't I gonna stop looking like this till you give me a little old kiss? What little old kiss? Well, nothing less than it comes from you. You do talk hard. <laughs> Supposing that I say that your lips are like a cherry's, the roses are the berries, what you gonna do? Can't you feel my heart a pulpitating and a bumping, a waiting for a something, something nice from you? 
I gotta get a kiss and it's gotta be quick Or I'll jump in the creek and die What's the girl to say when you took me away? Oh. Oh. Come on everybody, let's go! Many a light lad may kiss and fly A 
be so happy, cause what I gotta say will make you miserable. I've got to marry Will. Say that sad news for me. Oh, don't hide your feelings, Ellie. I can't bear it. The world you come right at and say your heart is busted in two. Are you sure you're gonna marry him? Sure, shooting. And there's no way for you to change your mind. No chance. All right then. My heart busted in two. Oh, oh Al, you do make up hard things to say. Thank you, Annie. No, Pa. Oh, I'm free like the breeze. Free 
Free like a bird on a woodland wild. Free like a gypsy. Free like a child. I'm unattached. Twenty minutes ago, I can do what I please. Flick my cigar ashes on a rug. Don't and donuts. Drink from a jug. I'm a happy man. I'm minding my own business like I ought. Ain't meaning any harm to anyone. I'm talking to a certain farmer's daughter. Then I'm looking in the muzzle of a gun. It's getting so you can't have any fun. Every daughter has a father with a gun. It's a scandal. It's an outrage. How a gal gets a husband today. If you make one mistake when the moon is bright, then I tie you to a contract so you make it every night. It's a scandal. It's an outrage. When a family surrounds you and say, you got to take and make an honest woman out of hell. To make you make an honest, she will lie like a hell. It's a scandal. It's an outrage on a manhood. It's a plot. But where is the leader who will save us and be the first man to be shot? Yes, you! It's a scandal. It's an outrage, just a wink and a kiss and you're through. You're a mess and in less than a year by head. There's a baby on your shoulders blowing bubbles on your neck. It's a scandal, it's an outrage. Any farmer will tell you it's true. A rooster and a chicken who is better off than that. He ain't the special property of a just one hen. It's a scandal, it's an outrage. It's a problem we must solve. We gotta start a revolution. All right, boys, revolve! Oh, 
What do you want? Well, I done got through my business up at the house, and I just thought I'd pay you a call. You got a gun, I see. I got it. And what you do with it? Shoot things. Both. Now I see. That there picture there. Now that's a naked lady, ain't it? Your eyes don't lie to you. Plum Stark, naked as a jaybird. No shame. She got a couple of thingamabobs fastened on her. That'd give me ideas, that would. That sure would. Yeah. It sure would. Sure as I'd think. See, Judd. It's a nice looking bit of rope you got there, Judd. Hey, it spins well, too. You know, Will Parker, he can sure spin a rope. You know, see, Judd. It's a mighty fine looking hook you got up there. You know what? You could hang yourself from that. I could what? Hang yourself. Why, well, it'd be as easy as falling off a log. Fact is, you could fall off a log. Or a chair if you'd rather. Right about... Right about here. The old noose around your neck. Oh, I'd have to tie it up there good first, of course. And all you'd have to do is fall off your log or your chair if you'd rather. Someone probably faint. The ones that took a shot at you when you was alive. What woman ever took a shine to me? Lots of women, Judd. Only they never come right out and show you how they feel. Unless you did first, of course. I guess that's so. They sure would sing loud, though. They sing as old their hearts break. Poor Judd is dead, poor Judd, cry is dead. He's looking all oh so peaceful and serene. He had a heart of gold and he wasn't very old. Oh, why did such a failure have to die? Poor Judd is dead, poor Judd Fry is dead. He's laying in a coffin made of wood. He learns a guy to rest 
With his hands across his chest, his fingernails have never been so clean. And a preacher get up and he say, Folks, we are gathered here today, moaning, groaning over our brother Judd Fry, who hung himself up by a rope in the smokehouse. And then it'd be a weeping and a wailing for some of those, woo! And then the preacher get up again and he'd say, Judd was the most misunderstood man in the territory. People used to say I was a mean, ugly fellow, and they called him a dirty skunk, an honor pig still. But the folks that really know him, Known beneath those two dirty shirts you always wore. Their feet are hearts as big as all outdoors. As big as all outdoors. Judd Fry loved his fellow man. He loved his fellow man. He loved the birds and the forest and the beasts in the field. And he loved the mice and the vermin in the barn. And he treated rats like weaklings, which was right. And he loved little children. He loved everybody and everything in this world. Only, he never let on. So nobody ever knew. Poor Judd is dead. Poor Judd Fry is dead. He's looking all oh so pretty and so nice. The daisies in the dell will give off a different smell because poor Jed is underneath the ground. Poor Jed is dead, a candle lights his head. He's lying in a coffin made of wood. It's made of wood. And folks are feeling bad cause they treat him bad and now they know that bread has gone for good good poor Judd is dead a candle lights his head he's looking oh so pretty and so nice he looks like he's asleep it's a shame he wouldn't keep, but it's summer and we're running out of heart. Get a little here. 
You ain't told me what business you had it. We got no carousel, no cow ponies. The old crops done spoke for. You sure done leave my mind considerable, Jeff. There's only one thing on this farm that you could want. And it better not be that. can do in this year country. Live outdoors is one. And live in a hole is the other. And Jed Fry, you're the other. How the hell did you get to be the way you are anyway? Sitting here in this filthy hole, a thinking the way you're thinking? Why don't you do something healthy once in a while? Instead of saying shut up and here a crawling and a festering. Ah! You ought to feel better now, Judd. Could be mighty hard on the roof, though. I'll just show you how it's done. See that knot hole over there? About as big as a dime? You what? See the winking at you over there? I want to see if I can hit it. Now watch. Pull it hole right through the middle. Without touching the side. Slick as a whistle. And you saw it, didn't you, Jeff? Hey, old boy, there's somebody coming. Who fired off a gun? Was that you, Curly? Well, I shot once. What was you shooting at? Oh, you see that knot hole over there? I see lots of knot holes. Well, it was one of them. <laughs> well, ain't you a pair of curly nothings are picking away at knot holes and scaring everybody to death? Ought to give you a good Dutch rubbing iron, some of that craziness out of you. It's all right, nobody's hurt. Just a pair of fools swapping noises. Mind if I wait a few jumps for a while? Got a few purdies, private knickknacks, special for men folk. I better go. I think I'll see you gents Uncle later. Uncle Scott? No, thanks. I gotta pick up a sorry I had that was back. Who do you think you're taking in that sorry? Ain't Heller? Ain't Lori? She'll come with me. She won't. Well, maybe she will. She promised to go with me! And she had better not change her mind. She had better not. Now I want you to show them the right front panel. I don't want none of them! Hey, you got any frog stickers? You mean one of them long nuts? What would you want with a thing like that? I don't know. Kill a hog or a skunk. It's all the same, ain't it? Hey, I'll tell you what I like better than a frog stick. You got one. If you ever hear of one of them things they call a little wonder? It's a thing you hold up to your eyes and you see pretty pictures. Only that ain't all there is to it. Not quite, you see. It's got a little jigger on it. 
and you touch it, and out springs a blade. And a spring, eh? Yeah. You see it, old uh, Look through this. And out snaps a blade. It's just above his chest. And bang! Down he comes! Fine joke to play in the breath. No, I don't handle things like that. Too dangerous. Wanna, wanna show you is my latest stock of puzzles. I don't want none of them! I want real things! I wanna get me a real woman! What would you want with a real woman? Why well, I'm having trouble right now. All on the account of a woman. And you say you want one. Look at you. You're a man what is free to come and go as you please. You've got a nice, cozy place. Private, artistic picture. They don't talk back to you. I'm sick of these pictures of women! All right, all right, play it harder. So throw them away and buy some new ones. I've made up my mind. I want a real woman. So you want a real woman, eh? Say, do you happen to know a girl named Erani? I don't want her! I don't want her either. But I got it. I don't want nothing from no penis bag! I want real things. What am I doing like that fella say? Just crawling and festering in this lousy snow gas? What am I doing here?
shift loud, yeah, the lights will chase that cow, and that's no reason why they can't be friends. Territory folks should stick together, territory folks should all be pals. Cowboys dance for the ranchers, daughters, ranchers dance for the farmers, girls. Territory folks should stick together, territory folks should all be pals. Cowboys dance for the farmers, daughters, farmers dance for the ranchers, girls. I'd like to say a word for the farmers. He come out west and made a lot of changes. He come out west and built a lot of fences. Building right across the cattle range. Yeah. Why are these dirt scratchers stay in Missouri where they belong? Yeah. They have as much right to be here as anybody. Yeah. Yeah. A farmer is a good and thrifty citizen. He's thrifty, all right. No matter what the comment says or thinks, he'll seldom see him drinking in the bar Unless somebody asks us buy and drinks. <laughs>
know what girl goes with what him. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if your sweetheart told you that hers is going to be done up in a certain kind of way with a certain kind of ribbon, well, that ain't my fault. <laughs> Seems like you and me ought to have a little talk. We only got one thing to talk about. Well, Hacken, I and he got yourself engaged to eight or one. Well, that's... Well, what? nothing. I don't know what I call you. You ain't pretty enough for a skunk. You're too skinny for a snake. Too big to be a man. Too little to be a mouse. I reckon you're a rat. That's logical. <laughs> Answer me one question. Do you really love her? Well... Because if I thought you didn't, I'd tie up that bag and throw you in the river. Are you serious about her? Yes, I'm serious. And do you worship the ground she walks on, like I do? And hacking? This is one answer that better be yes. Yes, yes, yes! The hell you do! Would you spend every cent you had for her? That's what I did. See that bag? Cost 50 bucks. All I had in the world. And if you had $50 cash? I had eight or whiny, and you'd lose her. Yes, I'd lose her. What you got in that dead bag? Might want to buy something. Why would you want me? I'm a peddler, right? I, I buy and sell. Might pay you real money. Might pay as much as, well, a lot. You mind? Which kind of piece of paper? Oh, God, yes. oh. What a beautiful hot water bottle. It looks French. Oh. I'll give you eight dollars. Eight dollars? That wouldn't be honest. I only paid three fifty. All right, I sell it with the eight dollars, and I will. What else you got with this? <gasps> what a crackage. Take your hands off these. These was for I wear the night. It don't fit you two goods. <laughs> I'll give you twenty-two dollars. But that's uh, twenty two fifty then. But not a cent more. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful ankle brace. <laughs> then those they was for her to wear. I didn't hardly think that was for you. <laughs> I'll give you fifteen dollars. Now, let me see. 8 and 22 is 30, and 15, 45 and 50 is 45, 50. 45, 50? So that's almost nuts. Want to buy some more? Might. Hey, have you ever seen one of these? <gasps> what made you buy that? Got it in for somebody? What do you mean? It's just funny pictures. Is that all you think it is? Well, it's not. But tomorrow, it's got to Well, well, where is everybody? Where is Aunt Elmer? I'm going to see her real bad. On top of the house, Laura. Hey, Laura! Where'd you get to? How much you give me for this thing? I guess you don't really know what it is. Either you, GC, Laura. Sure thing. Just went to the side of the house. Auction's going on there. Hey, John!
how much? Oh, about, um, three dollars and fifty cents? It's a lot of money, but I think it might be worth it. Well, let's see. Uh, $3.50 from him and $45.50 from you. That makes $50, don't it? No. $1 short. Dollars? How much give me for the rest of the stuff in the bag? $1. Done. Now I got $50, don't I? Know what that means? Means they're gonna take eight or any back from you. You wouldn't do a thing like that to me. Oh, wouldn't I? And when I tell her, Pa, where I got most of the money off her, maybe you change his mind about who's smart and who's dumb. Say, young Pa, you certainly fuck on to me. <laughs> Four 
get a nice Jim Bleach. Fuck them! Come on! Yeah. Curly, Curly, what you doing? Doing nothing. 
nothing much. What you want to go squealing at a man like that for? Scared the liver and lights out of you. Well, then stop looking at those old Frank's pictures and ask me to dance. You brought me to the party, didn't you? Yeah. 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 All right, you silly old woman. I'll dance with you. I'll dance all over the man. Yeah. Yeah.
You sit in the front room, won't get out of Aunt Ella's sight. The last time I see you alone, it was winter, the snow six feet deep in drifts when I was sick. You brought me hot soup out to the smokehouse and gave it to me. And I hadn't shaved in two days. You asked if I had a fever and put your hand on my head to find out. I remember. Bet you don't remember as much as me. I remember everything you ever done. Every word you ever said. I can't think of nothing else. See? See how it is? Yeah. I'm a hired hand. I've got dirt on my hand. Pig slop. I ain't fed him with touch you. You're better, so much better. We'll see his betterness, Lord. Then you're wishing you wasn't so free of the ears. You're such a fine lady. Are you threatening me? Are you standing there telling me if I don't allow you to slop all over me like a hog? Well, you're going to do something about it? Well, let me tell you this, Mr. Judd. You're nothing but a mangy dog, and someone ought to shoot too. You think so much about being a hard head? Well, let me tell you this. You ain't a hard head no, for me no longer. You can just pack your nose and scoot. Oh, I ain't got better ideas than that. You ain't just that foot on this place again, or I'll set the dogs on here. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, no one. Who's that? It's me, Lord. Hey. Have you seen Peter Wadden? Well, well, could you do something for me? Yeah. Could you go and find Curly and tell him I'm here? I need to see Curly real bad. Why don't you turn around and look, you crazy woman? Curly! Oh, great Lord! Don't leave me! Oh, great God Almighty! Oh, great, great Lord! Oh, great Lord!
you just stay over there right where you are. And I'll sit over here and rest my wounds and tell me what's ailing you. Well, it's just, he was here, he scared me, he's crazy. And he threatened me, so I fired him. I wish I had him. You're fired. Well, that's all there is to that. I'll get your new hired hand tomorrow. But if you're scared of that mangy hound dog, I'll stay on the place myself tonight. Now, Lord, man, well, I think about it. How about marrying me? Good gracious, what do I want to marry you for? Aw, oh, man, couldn't you just think of one reason? Can't think of nothing hardly right now. Oh, Lord, man, please, please. <laughs> Why, Curly, I'll marry you if you want me to. You will! Country's changing left and right. Buy up mow machines and cut down the parrots. I'll have to shear my own horses and drag a damn plow through this here side. They're gonna make a state out of this here territory and they're gonna call it Oklahoma. Country's changing, I gotta change with it. Bring up a pair of boys, new stock, to keep up with the way things is going. Oh, I remember the first time I ever saw you. It was at the fair. And you was a riding that filly of blue stars. And I see it's the gentleman. Who's the skinny looking thing with the blue bang hanging down her forehead? Yeah, I remember. You was riding the Bronx that day. That's right. Yeah, one of them drove you. Yeah. <laughs> and then drove me. You guess you must have jumped off it. That's right. I jumped off. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> hey, if there's anybody around this area, y'all can hear my voice. I want for you to know, Lori Williams is my girl. Funny, you always get to the letter. And she went and got me to ask her to marry me. Yeah, I'm crazy, I know. Don't worry about it. Let people say we're in love. Who cares what happens now? Let people say we're in love. Starlight looks well on us. Let the stars be from above. Who cares if they tell on us? Let people say. the man for you, Will Parker. Who? Oh, yeah. Well, I like Will a lot. He's a fine fellow, strong like an ox, young and handsome. I love him all right, I guess. Yeah, you love those clear blue eyes of his and the way his mouth wrinkles up when he smiles. Do you love him too? <laughs> I love him because he will make my Ada honey happy. Goodbye, my baby. 
I will show you how we say goodbye in my country. <laughs> that was goodbye. But it's a song in Persia. It says, one goodbye is never enough. I'm glad you met such a wonderful man as Will Packer. You deserve a fine man. And you Say goodbye in my country. Persian <laughs> ah, goodbye, lucky fellow. Wish it was me, she was madam, instead of you. Don't seem to make an awful lot of difference. <laughs> Time for a lonely gypsy to go back to the open road. Oh, really? More. Sweeping down the plane, 
And the waving wheat can sure smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain. Oklahoma, every night's my honey lemon dry. Sit alone and talk and watch the hawk making lazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is grand. And when we say, yeah! Bushy head and run home. 
of the store. Hey, Will, did you hear the news? Gertie married the peddler man. Mighty glad to hear that, peddler man. <laughs> I think I ought to kiss the bride, friend of the family. Hey, Gertie. Have you ever had an Oklahoma hello? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Hello, Gertie! Scrawny and old. 
You couldn't pay me to be the way I am. Oh, you're such a crazy. Sure as you're born. They're taking Joe to the Dean Tallis till the morning. Laura, honey, Court Elan here is a federal national, you know that? He thinks I ought to give myself up. Tonight. Tonight? But your train leaves for Claremore in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The best thing is for Curly to go of his own accord and tell the judge. Why, you're the judge, ain't you, Andrew? Yeah, I reckon that's about right. <laughs> tell him here and get it over and done with. It wouldn't be proper. You have to do it in a court. Well, let's do it here and say we did it in court. Yeah. 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 We can't do that. It's breaking the law. Well, let's not break the law. Let's just find the law. Yeah. 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 Andrew. Andrew, I got your Check protein. your trap. We can give the boy a fair trial without locking him up. Yeah. 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 Now, here's the line in short. Watch your plea. That means what you do. Why, he was a pester and lord. Don't let your tongue wobble about in your mouth like that. Now listen to my question. What happened tonight that made you kill him? Why, well, he killed me with a knife. And you had him. to defend yourself, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Never, yeah. never mind the furthermore. You plead yourself defense. That's right. Yeah. Now, is there anyone here who saw this happen? Yeah. 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 I feel funny about this, Andrew. I sure feel funny. You'll feel funny when I tell your wife about you carrying on with the other woman. <laughs> I ain't carrying on with no one. Maybe not, but you sure feel funny when I tell her you are. <laughs> Boss, shut up about being federal man. Yeah. 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 We ain't gonna let anybody lock up Curly on his wedding night, so just shut up. Yeah. 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 Come on, fellas, we'll take him down to the station if Curly's sorry. We can be the yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hold on, hold on. I ain't even pulled to the verdict yet. Well, the verdict's not guilty, ain't it? Gosh, but I still gotta say it. Well, say it. Not guilty! Yes. 
The classical, uh, classic musicals is nowadays big business. Oklahoma, which was revived with great success in London, is at present doing sell-out business in Sydney. The star of the, of the show in London and Sydney is John Dietrich, and I'll be talking to him later in the programme. But first of all, a spectacular dance number from the stage version, featuring Peter Bishop, Kay Eklund and the boys. It's the sprightly Kansas City. <laughs> See some things I never did see before. Everything's up to date in Kansas City. They gone about as far as they can go. They got a big theater called a pearly queue. For 50 cents you can see at any show. One of the gals was fat and thick and pearly. Was round the pub as she was round below. I could swear that she was padded from her shoulder to her heel. But later in the second act, when she began to peel, she proved that everything she had was absolutely real. You ain't about as far as she could go. Yes, sir. You ain't about as far as she could go. It's all her dancing nowadays. The waltz is through. Of course, they don't do it low. Come on, Ellie. 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 Oh, you leave alone! 
Oh, 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 oh,